What do a drunk cheesemaker, a half-eaten loaf of bread, and a cave have to do with the birth of blue cheese? We'll tell you in a minute, but first, let's talk about the state of cheese. I'm Elena. I'm a cheese professional with Wisconsin roots. Cheese is my life. And I'm Alex, chef from Paris searching for the most amazing ingredients in the world. We're, We're cheese, cheese lovers. lovers. And we want to help you discover your next favorite cheese. So why would anyone eat moldy cheese? Because it's delicious. Blue cheese pushes your taste buds to the limit. It's the perfect blend of salty and sweet. And uh, what makes it blue? Cheesemakers pierce the wheels of blue with needles. It's a process called needling, and some cheesemakers even do it by hand with almost knitting-like needles. This allows oxygen and mold to penetrate the cheese. The result is a beautiful veining that stretches throughout the cheese and the rind. Blue cheese range from creamy to crumbly. And from mild to super pungent. So much character in all this. Let's take a closer look at a few examples. First off, we have Car Valley's Penta Creme Blue. Okay, let's dig in. I like the color on this one. And the smell is quite mild. They actually add cream to the make with this cheese. Five cans of cream, hence the name Penta Creme. As a Frenchman, creme fits me well. That would be the perfect introduction for someone that is a bit afraid of blue cheese. You know, that velvety, creamy approach. It's lovely. Next cheese, Bel Gioioso Gorgonzola, Wisconsin's take on the Italian classic. It's beautiful, those little bits and pieces, you know, very cute. I couldn't help myself but noticing that the blue is smaller. It's true. There's probably mm. less needles going into the piercing of this cheese, and the needles themselves might be smaller. You know, Gorgonzola is sort of on a spectrum. You have the younger Dolce. The softer. And on the other hand, you have the longer-aged Picante. The stronger. When the founders of Belgioso came over from Italy, they kind of landed right in the middle with this one. I could see that on a salad. You know, you want to char those leaves a bit, you, you add a few croutons, a bit of garlic, and this has a final sprinkle, just gorgeous. If you love blue cheese as much as we do, you need to know how a drunk cheesemaker, a half-eaten loaf of bread, and a cheese cave accidentally turned cheese blue. So as cheese lore has it, sometime during the 9th century, the cheesemaker left rye bread and cheese in a cave. The rye bread grew mold and spread to the cheese. Which ended up being delicious. Hopefully he had a nice coach to celebrate his invention. Who said it was a he? Oh, touche. Looking for your next favorite cheese? Mm. You'll find it in Wisconsin. If you're craving more cheese knowledge, watch the rest of the State of Cheese video series.